All right, welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us. Let's continue with our coverage. It's time for a discussion of the night. We are talking about women and politics. Researches of gender and politics study how people's political participation and experiences interact with their gender identity and how ideas of gender shapes political institutions and decision making. Women's political participation in the context of patriarchal political systems is a particular focus of study. Our guest tonight is Monica Wangombe. Let's hear it from a political scientist view. Karibu sana to Studio Monica. Thank you. Thank we, you for um, mm -hmm. having me. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're glad to have you. So just tell us uh, who is Monica Wangombe before we get started. Okay, so Monica Wangombe is a political analyst. Mm -hmm. And I like to say I'm Professor Kisangani student. That's a flex because mm -hmm. he's one of the best political analysts that we know in this time. I'm also a gender specialist mm -hmm. and a sustainable development uh, consultant mm -hmm. working with several CBOs such as Nyeri Bora, uh, CBO in Nyeri mm -hmm. County. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So let's just get right into it. As a political scientist, mm -hmm. he's also invested in matters, gender, of course, and development. Mm -hmm. Tell us, how does this help in politics, say local decision making, for mm -hmm. instance? Well, before we get into that particular topic, I'd like to discuss mm -hmm. uh, about the term gender. Okay, perfect. Yes, mm -hmm. because uh, normally when people are getting into that particular conversation, they get it a bit mixed up mm -hmm. because uh, most people say that gender is about women or they understand that gender is all about women, but really gender is all about boys, girls women and men yeah. and the social construct the social uh, as, uh the the roles and the norms that are ascribed to men women boys and girls mm -hmm. that is ascribed to the society so it's really not no it is it is not about the sex it's about it is not a biological construct it is a social construct mm -hmm. and uh, maybe from there then we can uh, discuss um what is ro the role of gender or gender and development yeah. in the politics or in the social politics and social economics of a country. And I would uh, maybe begin to say that when you understand gender, mm -hmm. or when you view politics, the social economics of a country from a gender lens, mm -hmm. then you're able to distinguish the unique needs of the different populations in that particular country. Because you see, boys, girls, men and women, they all have unique, uh, unique needs. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, especially when it comes to project uh, project management or projects in the in the in the country, mm -hmm. uh, we do not have the same needs as women, and we do not have the same needs as men. Mm -hmm. uh, like for example, um, there was this stunt that was pulled by the senator Gloria. Mm -hmm. I, I think that that was one of the most glorious stunts <laughs> yeah. that has ever been pulled by a legislator, and that is basically what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And that is why we usually have uh, men legislators, mm -hmm. uh, male legislators. Okay, I like to say men legislators are, are, as opposed to men uh, to, to male because you know I'm talking about gender yeah. as a social construct. So mm -hmm. men leg legislators and female legislators in the in the in in, in parliament mm -hmm. in the national assembly. So basically that's what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And she was able to bring out uh, this aspect of a period shame because that is a real thing. Th th these are some of the things. Mm -hmm that are really affecting the society, affecting our girl child. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, th these are some of the, th some of the things that uh, we would not understand unless from a, mm -hmm. a gender lens, unless it is felt, mm -hmm. it, is it is illustrated from someone who actually understands what it is about. Mm -hmm. And just uh, in the same way, we also have uh, boy issues or boy child issues that are also uh, presented in parliament or mm -hmm. represented in parliament by the men legislators, uh, such as, uh, I like to say that uh, there's a particular kind of gender-based violence that is um, usually directed towards the men, and that is mostly material. Mm -hmm. Like in the, in the uh, in 2013, before 2013, we used to have the, uh, we, we didn't used to have polygamy. Mm -hmm. um, and so the, uh, the, the woman was the one that had the veto power. Uh, the, the uh, the complete say over uh, how many uh, or if the the man should be able to have a another an, another another wife and and I think that mm -hmm. that was that is quite an, of an abuse of um, of freedom of the okay. freedom of a man so oh. yes okay Monica mm -hmm. now thank you f for that now I want mm -hmm. us to narrow down to women and politics mm -hmm. are there any policies or programs in place that specifically 
address the needs and concerns of women politicians? Yes, there, are, there is a lot of programs and mm -hmm. there is a lot of policies. Mm -hmm. uh, there is many policies that address, uh, you know, uh, and many uh, institutions that basically try to demystify or to uh, research into the world of women in politics. Uh, because this is quite a sensitive topic, um, mm -hmm. uh, Anne, because uh, you do realize that uh, it, it is only just the other day we had the, the first women MP in uh, 1969, that is Grace Onyango. So it has been quite, it, it, it is not such a, a recent, uh, it is not such a, a thing that happened a long time ago that women have been able to be engaged in politics. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there's, a, there's a lot of uh, things that happen in the political scene when it comes to women, as, 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 mm -hmm. especially um, se uh, sexual harassment, uh, especially in this digital era. Mm -hmm. Where you find um, someone will just find a, a random picture in the in the, in the internet mm -hmm. and they place your uh, face on on that and uh, you know maybe it's it's, it's not a, it's not a very good photo of, of of that person and then they put it on the internet yeah. and you know uh, that really paints a bad picture about them mm -hmm. about the female uh, about the female politician mm -hmm. and so there's um, institutions like uh, CREW, mm -hmm. uh the UN Women. Yeah. Uh, and there's, there's a whole lot of policies. Uh, th th then there's also a uh, National uh, Gender and Equality Commission. Okay. They're also doing, uh, they're, they're doing a lot of work in ensuring that women have a safe space mm -hmm. because that is basically what women need because some of these experiences are quite traumatic. Mm -hmm. uh, you would imagine uh, going for a seat, even for an MCS seat, mm -hmm. and uh, one day you wake up to trolls on the internet you know there's pictures of you all over and uh, you know these are not these are things that are not even familiar with you you know you're a Christian mm -hmm. you have a family you have a husband and you know that these are quite traumatic uh, experiences so we need to have that we have uh, we have we do those we do have those uh, institutions mm -hmm. and policies that actually and there's the section uh, 27 mm -hmm. that protects uh, women mm -hmm. not just women but also men uh, uh, protects all persons from uh, or I I rather it discusses equal, uh, it protects people from discrimination of mm -hmm. in, in all forms. So I think we do have, um, there's a lot of work that is going on around that particular thing. And uh, when we, ca uh, and, and now that we've discussed uh, about uh, discrimination, yeah. um, I promised I would have to discuss this because this is quite a sensitive topic. Okay. And you know, times are changing, mm -hmm. and uh, we do have to agree that times are changing. And this is a topic on, uh, mm -hmm. LGBTQ. I know it's quite a sensitive, uh, sensitive topic. Okay, let's now talk about it. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, when when uh, I was waiting for the bulletin to start, I had a walk around uh, the school, mm -hmm. and uh, I did quite a, a, a bit of a social experiment, and I asked people, you know, what are, what are your thoughts mm -hmm. on uh, on LGBTQ? Mm -hmm. And uh, you would expect, you know, this is this is an academic institution, mm -hmm. so you would expect these are some of the most free uh, free, free thinkers, and but. You, you find that most of these people are very homophobic. And I would think that, uh, you know, for me as a Christian, the Bible tells me that, you know, it is wrong. But mm -hmm. that is for me. It is not for the next person. Mm -hmm. So if I believe that it is wrong, then I should not do it. But if the next person wants to engage in, you know, they have their own beliefs or they have their own sexual orientation, it is not my business to ask them or to even attack them or to even mm -hmm. have hate crimes against them. Mm -hmm. And even you would find that you can even find that even the president himself mm -hmm. said the same uh, said the same remarks that you know I am a Christian and I quoting him as William Ruto as I do not ascribe to such beliefs but that should not make me want to attack the next person because that is not what mm -hmm. they do they do not share the same beliefs as me that is a non-issue it is just like religion you would not attack the next person just mm -hmm. because they believe in a different kind of but, but Monica, religious. what about the children that are coming after us is this really the culture that we want to set for them from your point of view now that you are talking about you do not have any problem um, with these people that are identified mm -hmm. in this community. Yes. Tell me about what you think about the um, society that are going to come after us. I don't think it would really affect them because in Africa we seem to, you know, we, we, we condone all sorts of immorality. There's a lot of immorality going on in Africa, but when it comes to LGBTQ, that, that's where we draw the line. And I, I don't understand mm -hmm. how we can condone every other kind of immorality, but mm -hmm. when it comes to LGBTQ, that is where we draw the line. Mm -hmm. um, 
in Africa, we also do not maybe uh, we do not have that culture of public display of affection. Mm -hmm. So, in the same way, you know, these guys they all, they're still going to be to continue practicing the same uh, whatever they're doing. They're going to continue doing it in the closet. And the more you uh, it is it is you, you know you prevent them from doing whatever they want. The more mm -hmm. even other people will be interested. They'll be curious. You know. Uh, they'll be curious to know what is this that you're preventing people from doing and maybe mm -hmm. I can I can even and you know there's those people that maybe have gone through uh, like women who have undergone through traumatic experiences mm -hmm. like rape and maybe they would think um, they, they would tend to want to know maybe uh, this 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 something else mm -hmm. maybe there's something else for me and uh, the more you restrict people from talking about this uh, this uh, ideology openly I think we should talk about it more so that people mm -hmm. can be comfortable about it rather mm -hmm. than uh, you know just saying it's, it's 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 not a topic to be discussed it is a topic to be discussed because is, times yeah. are changing mm -hmm. and we cannot remain the same and mm -hmm. for now since we have decided to face the West mm -hmm. then we have to be ready to discuss this topic we have to be ready to discuss to have this topic in our lives and uh, I don't. I don't feel like it. It will it disrupt anything in the world. It will. It won't. You know, the world will continue. It is just a non-issue. It is just like religion. You practice your beliefs. I practice my well, beliefs. <laughs> Monica, yes. I think now before we really, really, really get out of um, topic, we will uh -huh. come to that LGBTQ issue later uh -huh. on. Mm -hmm. I hope so. If my director gives me time. Yes. But let's now talk about. Um, how gender affects political participation in the country. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about that. It does affect political participation because you see, mm -hmm. it is we cannot say that it is the same uh, for, for, for the women. Mm -hmm. uh, for the women in politics, it's not the same as for those that are in. Uh, it is not the same for, for the men. Mm -hmm. Because you see, as a woman, mm -hmm. socially you are... Um, a reproductive, you know, there's, there's a case of the triple, uh, the triple roles. Mm -hmm. So I have to go and ask uh, for permission from my husband, mm -hmm. even to maybe spend the family money or even to be in politics itself. Mm -hmm. But for the men, they don't have to ask for permission from anyone mm -hmm. to be in politics. And you know, I have always uh, asked people to look at women as a human, you know, look at me as a human, and uh, maybe if I am a, I'm a legislator, look at me as a legislator before you see the woman in me, mm -hmm. because I am a human, which is the same argument when it comes to LGBTQ. I am a human before I am anything else. Mm -hmm. I am a professional be before I am, before you ascribe that, before you look at me as mm -hmm. the, my, my biological construct. So it is quite hard. It is quite different for women. Mm -hmm. you, you, uh, I, I saw that with uh, Martha Karua. Mm -hmm. You know, she's one of those um, pioneers in, uh, in 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 women in politics. We cannot uh, forget what uh, that she was. The, she was in fact the very first deputy president nominee, mm -hmm. and that is going to inspire more women to to join politics. Yeah. And you would find that. Uh, there was a lot of attack on her, uh, on her, mm -hmm. on on her family life, mm -hmm. and you know the uh, people say that you know if, if you don't have your family life together as a woman, that you are not going to be able to be a leader, mm -hmm. which is not true. I can be a single woman, I can be, uh, I can even choose not to have children. That does not, it has no business. It has no, there is no meeting point between me being mm -hmm. a leader, or being a politician, mm -hmm. and having a family. This. Those are two different things. So the moment we'll be able to differentiate or to see women as humans mm -hmm. before we see them as women, as 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 uh, as a woman or as a mother or as a, as a wife, mm -hmm. then I think then we'll have we will have a, a advanced in ideology. Okay. So how would you describe the current participation patterns of Kenyan women in political parties? Uh, I would say we're making progress mm -hmm. uh, because you know it, change change is not easy mm -hmm. and. Uh, it, it, there has to be some kind of conflict before we achieve uh, change. Mm -hmm. And um, w uh, in, in 2013, we, we didn't have a single female governor in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And then we went to 2017, we had three female governors and three female senators. Mm -hmm. And then in 2022, mm -hmm. now we have seven female governors and um, His Excellency, the President, uh, also nominated uh, 10 women to be 
in, a, in, in the cabinet portfolios out of the 26 uh, seats. That, that includes even the security advisory, uh, gender advisory, and the se uh, secretary to the cabinet. So mm -hmm. seven, we, we do have seven mm -hmm. CS, uh, uh, seven cabinet secretaries, mm -hmm. and three uh, women who are in the same cabinet portfolio. Mm -hmm. So I think we are making quite some progress. Mm -hmm. Even at the local level, there is even programs that are supporting female MCAs. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, uh, this, this one program called um, My Walk, My Talk, I think, that, I think that's what it's called. So it, I think we're really buying into the idea of having female mm -hmm. politicians. But I would also uh, maybe advise, especially mm -hmm. the young women politicians, the young mm -hmm. female politicians that we have, um, like my all-time favorite, mm -hmm. uh, one I look up to, Karen Nyamo. Mm -hmm. You know, she, she I, don't, I don't think she realizes the kind of um, place she is in. She doesn't realize the kind of influence that she has mm -hmm. on the younger generation because it is true, she is one of the most influential young women in politics. Mm -hmm. And uh, when she was elected or when she was nominated into Senate, my expectation mm -hmm. as a young, you know, political analyst or okay. as a young lady, mm -hmm. you know, who's looking at her as, as, a, mo as a role model, mm -hmm. I would expect that, she, you know, she would be doing the things that she was uh, nominated to do in Parliament mm -hmm. and not, you know, having a reality show. Mm -hmm. I am sorry, Karen Nyamo, you're my all-time favorite. You know, mm -hmm. it, it is not easy to, <laughs> to fight your way in, in a male-dominated space and to just, you know, really claim your space and to oh, okay, hold okay. on to it. It's not okay. easy, but mm -hmm. uh, I think she should maybe try to be a better example to us yeah. uh, because, you know, she is a role model. All right. Now, uh, my director is telling me about time, but mm -hmm. I really need to ask you that yes. the two-third gender rule is among the four key issues raised yes. in the presidential memorandum to parliament. Mm -hmm. Now, parliament is not properly constituted in terms of gender as uh -huh. the constitution states. Uh -huh. The position of women representative has been created. The main reason being to increase the number of women legislators. Yes. Clearly, it has not been very effective. What actions can permanently solve this problem? It and what not. can be done to give women a seat at the table? You know, <laughs> um, adding more seats, we can add as many seats as we want for <laughs> women representatives, mm -hmm. but it will never solve the problem of gender equality. Okay. If the people that we elect into this, uh, to, to the National Assembly or to the county assemblies, mm -hmm. both the men and the, and the women, mm -hmm. if they do not even understand what gender issues are, mm -hmm then we, do, we, we would not even expect to have a, mm -hmm. to achieve gender equality. So that gender rule mm -hmm. was an attempt, it was actually a good attempt at gender equality because we have uh, counties like uh, Elgeo Marakwet that at the time of, uh, of the adoption of the, of, of the, of the new constitution mm -hmm. that brought about the county government, mm -hmm. we, di we, didn't, we didn't have any women representatives or uh, any women legislators in such sub counties, mm -hmm. uh, in such counties. Mm -hmm. And so when this seat was created, it actually, Ilifanya uh, Wanawake, uh, Hio County Wakamka. And so they realized that, you know what, we, we can also be legislators. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, 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 I think that was a good attempt, but mm -hmm. at where we are right now, I think mm -hmm. gender mainstreaming would be a more permanent solution mm -hmm. to achieving gender equity, mm -hmm. not gender equality, because mm -hmm. gender equality is not a good content, uh, 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 it's not a good uh, thing, mm -hmm. it can never be achieved, but gender equity, you know, mm -hmm. handling every population, every part of the population, mm -hmm. you know, uh, assisting them with the kind of needs that they need, because they all have unique needs. We're not the same. Like mm -hmm. in, I would use the example of Nyeri County. Education is a bit more progressed than in other counties like mm -hmm. Marsabit. Yeah. So we have unique needs, and we need mm -hmm. to uh, make uh, these uh, our legislators to understand mm -hmm. that you know if you want to achieve gender equity, mm -hmm. then they need to be gender mainstream. They need to even understand what gender means, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. because gender is not about women. All right. Now, if women constitute fifty point three one percent. Mm -hmm. of the Kenyan population. Why aren't women dominating seats in parliament? Is it women against women or what's your take on that? Yes, there is some truth in that, mm -hmm. that, you know, women are, uh, our, we are uh, our greatest enemy, but also it is quite hard mm -hmm. for women to join the political scene. Okay. Uh, because you, you do realize that we have the triple roles. 
as opposed to men who are who are mostly have the productive role. Mm -hmm. So for us, we have the reproductive role, uh, the community development, mm -hmm. and the nurturing mm -hmm. aspect of of society. So when when you have uh, <laughs> and and this uh, this reminds me of uh, uh, early childhood development in mm -hmm. regards to um, child care. Mm -hmm. That if you can imagine, and this is a conversation about Mama Mboga, if you can imagine that a woman that is employed is having trouble with her house help, you know, okay. when, when they are raising the kids, you know, if that if that house help leaves, leaves that particular day, Hawaku mm. Majipanga, it's going to be a hell of a day, you know, trying to, to deal with the kids. And this woman is employed, she has the money. Mm -hmm. You can imagine a Mama Mboga who earns like 100 shillings in a day. How are they going to be able to cater for, to, to pay for daycare services? Mm -hmm. And, and still be able to provide for the family. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know, I think we need to address early childhood development. Mm -hmm. And I, I had suggested that we would have market cliches. These are daycare centers in, inside the markets, uh, just like uh, it, it was done in the Rakanidhi, yeah. whereby there is daycare centers inside the markets. And this uh, actually helps the mamambogas, because here in, here in Serikali, mamambogas, and you need to really think about uh, Mama Mboga, mm -hmm. because these are people that, you know, women are the larger, uh, the larger constitute of the population. And mm -hmm. when we leave that one population behind in development, then we will never achieve development as a country. There will always be one part of the population dragging mm -hmm. us behind or, you know, pulling us behind. All right. Allow me to cut you short in the interest mm -hmm. of time. Mm -hmm. Let's um, wind up at this very point. Thank you so much for making time for us tonight. By the way, glad to have you in Thank studio. You. Uh, we look forward to hosting you again. Thank you. Now, uh, let's catch this sports bumper before we get sporty. <laughs>